doesn't have something. Something that represents God. And you think it's not a Bible. I'm not an idol if it's a Bible. How are you using that Bible? I used to carry a Bible with me everywhere. I used to put a Bible in my pocket. I said, in case I get stabbed, I was getting mugged that had Bibles on me. Bibles in my book bag. The problem was, God, I heard God say one day, how are you reading or how are you using your Bible? It's a map. If I carry a map with me and I'm walking around the earth, but if I carry a map to take me different places in my book bag and I'm walking around the earth saying, I got a map, I got a map, I got a map, you are just as stupid as the next person that does not have a map. You are useless. You have a map inside your book bag, but you are not using the map. The Bible is the map. The way, the truth and the light. The way, the truth and the light. But you will not use him for what he's meant for. He's the way, the truth and the light. He's a ministry all in himself. You got Jesus, you got everything you need. You got Paul, you just got Paul. And he's dead, so you got bone dust. Not even uh, skin, he ain't even muscle fibers and stuff like that. You got bone dust. I love my pastor. Love me some Pastor Randy. Hands down. I said something to him yesterday and he said, good point. I said, yes. That's right. Because he's like, a, he, he, his head is so big. He looks like Chris Floyd. His head is huge. And he looks like he knows everything about the Bible. And he talks. He knows Greek words and stuff. <laughs> he knows it all. And at the same time, I love the fact that he realizes I'm a teacher. And that means I know nothing. I'm a teacher. I know nothing. Because you can only teach on what the Bible has taught. That's why I will not go to cemetery. I'm not going to cemetery. I don't want to care. I don't care what other people thought about what the Bible was saying. Paul said what he said. That's it. I took it the way I took it. That's it. Either way, we don't know what's going to happen until we get to heaven. Right? Paul didn't know what he said. Paul got caught up to the second, the third, the fifth heaven. And he came back. He used to ball. So who's the one? the ball old Paul? I'm, I'm, I'm not being disrespectful, but he's the ball Paul. I'm so fat Jamie. I'm, the, I'm so beautiful Jamie, and I'm not fat like that because I'm, I'm not getting toned. You know, I got my toneness. I got my toneness. <laughs> I got atoned, and now I'm not getting toneness. However, I'm still the same girl. Afro Jamie. Black Jamie. That will say anything. Because anything come flying out my mouth. Don't, don't be surprised. That's the fun of it. I'm still that girl. I haven't got caught up, but I'm still that girl. He got caught up, and he's still that dude. At the end of the day, God, he just came at a different time. And if Paul came now, you would disrespect him. You wouldn't respect him. You say to him, oh, you, you put yourself on the same uh, pedestal as uh, Samson? Are you kidding me? Samson, uh, 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 be, let's be honest. Samson, Samson, Samson. You see Samson did. <laughs> you see Samson did. Somebody said to me, he said, you put yourself on the same platform as uh, uh, above Paul. I said, no, I don't. I have a healthy knowledge of who I am. I said, after going through everything I've been through in my life, and I didn't have to slay a slap no more, I said this, which I'm very proud of myself. Of. But I said, after going through everything I've been through in my life, I said, I have a healthy understanding of who I am. God has given me a healthy understanding of who I am. And I said, I will never, I kept going back, I will never give Paul credit above Jesus Christ. I said, he died for me. I said, I will never give Paul credit above Jesus Christ. I said, if you get credit above him, I will never make him equal. I said, yo, dude, Paul, he didn't make himself equal. He said, I'm the least of these, the least of the possible. <laughs> I said, it takes a little bit. I said, it's hard for me because I'm watching people that I love. And it takes a little tiny thing for them to be pulled over into the lane of sin. It takes a little tiny thing for them to be fooled. The Bible says, uh, God has to shorten the day. Otherwise, the very elect will be fooled. The very elect, that includes me. Does, uh, am I like? No. But at any time you say, we'll be fooled, I, I, I can help myself in that, in that, um, that grouping. I can help myself. Fool! Oh, that's Jimmy. Right here. Right here. I wake up a queen. I knock myself a queen. I coordinate myself a queen. However, I realize that, that without God, I'm nothing but a fool. A fool in beautiful clothing. <laughs> I'm dressed like a queen, but I, I'm a fool in beautiful clothing if I don't bring God into my, 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 my realm. I only get to know God every morning because I wake up at 4 o'clock in the morning and I start and I wake up and the first thing I say is good morning Jesus. And I don't say it like that. I wake up and I, I talk to him. I wake up talking to him. I'm so proud of myself because I woke up at 2 o'clock this morning and I woke up to go to the bathroom but I woke up praising God. And I did not have to, I was, I was watching Australian um, top model before I went to sleep which you know, it's not that good but I woke up praising God. I didn't wake myself up praising God. That's happened before too. That's scary. 
But I woke up, praise God. I woke up, I praise him out my, 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 my lips. I said, I said, yes, this is what I've been trying to get to. Now I gotta stay here. I gotta keep praying so I stay here. But I praise. Hallelujah. Looking to God. Why? Because my body is playing subject to my soul. Your soul plays subject to your to something. Your soul plays subject to something. But your soul houses your emotions. So what we do is we put our desires on the throne. And when we do that, we put my mind, my will, my emotions, I want, I think, and I feel on the throne. Next to Jesus, we line up. Next to Jesus, I want, I think, I feel. And then the, the, the problem is when Jesus gave the word, he said, do this. They said, I want, I think, I feel. I, I want to do that though. Oh, it's outright blatant. Uh, we are going to do what we want to do. I love the image. Going back to the image that Pastor Randy gave this Sunday. He said the kid sitting there with the cookie. The cookie's for you. Ha, ah, I hear God. I hear. Two trees in the middle garden. He said it was for them. It was for them. It just wasn't for that time. 